Casper and Dennis here for Submission Radio, proudly brought to you by Engage Combat Fightwear. And we're standing here with one half of the big superstars, one of the co-hosts of the Halfcast podcast. And he's got a massive, massive ring, even though he's, he's hiding. He's got a massive million dollar ring tied to Avasa. Where did this come about? It's from Coles. <laughs> Coles? How much did that cost? No, it's from the, you know, the put the coin in and you spin it. Yeah. It comes in one of those balls. Show, show the camera, show everybody what you're working with. Tiki rigs up to the moon. Is there any ch- <laughs> any chance you'll be able to sneak that under the glove uh, for the fight this weekend? Ah, nah, bro. These are, do. These are good enough. <laughs> no, they're all right. Your good friend Tyson Pedro is actually sitting right over there next to you. This is this is a pretty good, nice setup, right? You guys talking about fighting together since back in the MSN days. He recently said that he wants to get the rock on the Half Cast podcast. Are you for that? Because I feel like I feel like we were joking about this the other day, and you were making jokes that The Rock is Tyson's celebrity crush, and now and now he's saying he wants to get The Rock on the podcast. I told you. I don't know. They, he might he might get too comfortable with The Rock. I never know. But <laughs> of course, I'd love to have The Rock. Uh, not you know, he's massive, and he's like you said, he's Polynesian, and, and uh, that's the goal, eh? If we get The Rock on there, I think everyone has to give it up. That's, that's retirement, right? You can't top that. Yeah, nah, everyone else, every other podcast have to give it up after that. No more submission radio. If you could well, ask... We had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's going to submit after If that. you had one question for The Rock, what do you think it would be? What's the big thing burning on your mind that you want to ask him? <laughs> Bro, my questions are stupid questions. <laughs> no, 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 my questions. I don't know. No, nah, not, not for... I don't know. Leave that to Tyson, right? That's, yeah, he comes up with all the good, sound smart questions. No, nah, no, nah, you add a lot to it. There's a lot of comedic timing. And The Rock is a big UFC fan, so you never know. He might be a bigger fan of yours than you are of his. Let's talk about it. Oh, I'm a massive fan of him. Yeah. I didn't say I wasn't. But I'd he might be a bigger him, fan of yours. Probably ask him how how can he speak. Like, he, you know when he does those videos of that, he always speaks like... Yep, the eyebrow. He's just got that voice, you know what I mean? He turns me on a little bit. (laughs) Well, he turns us all on. But this is not what we're here to talk about, Ty, because you have a big fight this weekend. Everybody's really excited over here in Perth. Great positioning on the card as well. How do you feel about being in such a great spot on the main card? We made it. (laughs) No, I'm pumped. Like, um, I think they tried to put me first on the Sydney card. Yeah. The first fight, I was like, come on, bro. This is my city. At least put me a little bit back, you know what I mean? Did you actually say, say something to them in Sydney, have a chat with them about, yeah, you know, bumping I, you up? I said, I, was, I, said to, uh, I said to Pete, I said, come on, bro, can't be first. I got my family won't even be here yet. They won't even be out of bed yet, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But, um, no, nah, to be on the main card, especially especially with Tyson and, and Mark, like, I, 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 I would have just been grateful to, uh, to fight in the same show. And now we're all on the main card, you know what I mean? This is this is the takeover, we're taking over. It's crazy. You, Mark, Tyson, Pedro, childhood friends, all part of the crew. I feel like there needs to be like a, a nickname, like the, the, the Polynesian Diaz brothers or, or something like that. But is there a name? The Poly Takeover. The Poly Takeover, <laughs> officially? <laughs> That's him. That's him. Is it almost a blessing and a curse though? Because you've got Ty fighting right before, sorry, you've got Tyson fighting right before you, then yourself, then Mark Hunt. What's it going to be like for you in the back, trying to warm up, watching Tyson fight? Are you going to be a little bit nervous? Nah, we, we're all here to do our own job, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's what happens. You get in that cage, you're by yourself. You don't, you don't have, as much as we are a team and everything else, like, he's going to go out there, do his job. I'm going to go out there, do my job. And Mark's going to go do his job, you know? We're here to do a job and I, I don't get, like, I'm not going to get nervous, you know what I mean? Never, you've yeah. never never been nervous before a fight, nothing like that. No, not really. I don't really get nervous. Like I think it's it's more my. Uh, that's what I look forward to is the fight. You know what I mean? And, and the train. I get more nervous at training. Like if they go, oh, we're gonna do fitness. I, f- <laughs> <laughs> I get nervous. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna try to do those ones. But the fight, the fight is. I know after the fight, the fight's done. You know, I can have a feed. I can have a drink. I can I can relax. So the the fight for me is 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 the is the light at the end of the, at the end of the tunnel. Talk about the house because we saw it on embedded. It looks like it looks like all you guys are staying together. Oh, it's a what, house, bro. What's what's <laughs> it? What's going on there? What's the vibe like? It's just it's like Mark home. Hunt got it's the big a, room. Did you get a big room a, as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm not at the big room yet. <laughs> 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 I still got a mattress in my room at the bottom. And my dad sleeps on the floor. So no, nah, it's that's. 
us Islanders, man, we 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 grow up like that. So, you know, one of the media guys was there. He's like, oh, so who stays here? I'm like, um, you're looking at it. You know, like this is this is how it is. And I love it like we love it like that. You know, everyone's around, everyone's there. You know, we all train together, we all sleep, and then uh, that's like I said. You know, at the end of the day, we all it's up to us to get in there and, and get the job done. You landed Cyril Asker for this weekend, this Sunday, but we heard that a few people actually turned down fights against you. I think anywhere from four to six people didn't want to take the call. Is that true? Yeah, I, I don't do that. That's my that's up to my managers and coaches, bro. I get told the fight, I just come to fight. So. Do you know who it was that potentially uh, turned down fights with you? No, I think, I think there was a few of them, but I don't know. How does that make you feel, though? I mean, you've only had one fight in the UFC, and it, it seems like people might already be, you know, looking at you as a serious threat. That doesn't mean shit, bro. Until we fight, we fight, you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, everyone, everyone's going to run into to, to someone at, at some point, you know what I mean? So, it uh, doesn't mean nothing, you know? I might come out and get smashed. This, that's, that's the beauty of fighting, you know? One punch can change anything, so... It can be, you know, just like uh, Francis, you know, everyone was like, oh, and then he loses one. Now everyone, you know, jumps off his, that's just, that's just fighting, you know, fuck. You get there and you lose and you win. You win or you lose. Are you a big fan of watching fights? Like before you got in the UFC, were you an avid watcher? And do you know many names in the heavyweight division outside the legends that sort of everyone no, talks about? No, only the, I don't watch, I don't watch TV much. Uh, um, I'm pretty a social butterfly. I like to, <laughs> I like to be out. I think talking. you mentioned four in the morning was very early. If you went out, it would be a lot later. Oh yeah, if you're getting home at four a.m., you haven't had a good night. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so I guess in terms of opponents and thinking who's next, you don't really care who it is. You don't have any names in your head that kind of stand out nah, to you. No, nah, no, nah. you know, other than like the top. 10 guys and stuff like that you know i'm not going to be a dickhead and like, oh i want to fight you know those guys i just want to keep fighting keep getting paid you know this is this is you know this is how i earn my bread you know what i mean so so just keep fighting and, and like i said i'm going to rock up to every fight the same you know i'm going to come prepared so I'm just just i'm just i'm just happy to be <laughs> I get the sense you're not a visualization or prediction guy, but is there is there any way potentially that you see yourself finishing oh, yeah. Cyril Asker? Maybe in similar fashion with the with the amazing flying knee, the floating knee in Sydney. Oh, I visualize a lot. I think that's where my I got the upper hand. But just because I don't watch fighting, I watch my fights. I know my fights. I, I, I've I've done this. I did this ten years ago, and now it's just coming true. So I I, I don't need to watch no one else. I'm just watching myself. So. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go out there do a backflip or something, but you know, I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> and we see there's some big after-party uh, plans here in Perth. Tell us a little bit about that because not only all three of you guys are on the same card beforehand. It yeah. seems like all three of you guys are having an after-party all together. Won't yeah. be finishing at 4 a.m. Hey, yeah. Well, we'll be getting kicked out of there <laughs> some sometimes. So whenever that is. We'll be there. So if you're in Perth, make sure you come down. I think it's at Eve Nightclub in the Crown. And uh, well, we all have the same managers, uh, the same manager as well. So it would it would make sense, wouldn't it? Put all three in the same spot. And DJ Soul Palele. <laughs> DJ Soul. Right. He's gonna drop some tunes. Soul Palele, the Hulk. This is shout out for him. This is his city, Perth. He has he has he has done amazing things for us since this whole you know this camp. Perf has looked out for us really well and shout out to Sol bro and his team, he, he is the man, he is the man, he's helped us out, me and Mark, massively on, on this camp, so thank you Sol. Well best of luck this weekend, everybody check out the after party if you're here in Perth and also check out the Half Cut podcast, I kind of want him to get The Rock, but then it means no more submission radio, so maybe we can get The Rock as well. Thank you so much Ty for your time Cheers brother. brother. Thanks.